I'm Jürgen Dollner. I'm professor for computer science at the Hasso Plattner Institute at the University of Potsdam. I'm chair of the computer graphics systems group and we focus on research on visual system, visual computing and AI based technology. AI research goes back for more than five decades. Recently, in the last decade, it has become a mainstream technology due to two key reasons. One reason is the availability of big data, because AI needs big data, otherwise it couldn't work. And on the other hand, the availability of processing power. AI needs an enormous amount of processing power, for example, parallel uh, processing based on graphical processing units, GPU-based computing. Artificial intelligence has impact on almost all application fields. Um, this is due to the fact that almost all application fields use, generate, process big data. And AI helps to take value out of that data, to process that data. Otherwise, you can't really get uh, the essence out of the data being stored, being processed. So AI is key for all businesses as all businesses process, handle and manage big data. IT systems will change a lot. There are fundamental changes due to AI technology. AI helps handling unsharp data, data with inherent um, lack in precision. Incomplete data can be handled by AI. And this is what really makes a change. With AI-based technology, businesses and, more to be more precise, the technical systems behind the businesses become able to handle big data with all these characteristics of big data, namely imprecision, incompleteness and sometimes inconsistency. And AI helps to solve these key problems. At Hasso Plattner Institute, we started our research on software analytics about 10 years ago. First, we have focused on software visualization, how to make visible what's going on in a software system and how to visualize its structure, its implementation. Um, then it became apparent that the analysis part is still missing because visualization can help you getting insights, but what you further need is analysis. And this was um, the first time we realized that we need something like software analytics, that is analytics on software data. Um, we started then with software repository mining, which represents a key domain in science and investigates the data stored in software repositories. Here we found that the combination of software analysis and software visualization that both key ingredients help us to set up what we now call software analytics. AI-based technology for software engineering becomes more and more mature. So nowadays we can already apply AI-based techniques to the practical software engineering to the everyday software engineering because we do have the data the data is stored is stored in almost all projects for example in software repositories so the key question is not how to set up the data the key question is how to infiltrate ai based software engineering tools for example a, a very efficient way is to set up a software analytics platform that allows you to plug in more and more AI-based um, functionality that is both relevant for the software technical part, 
for the software development as well as for the management and steering part, for example for human resources in software engineering. AI-based software analytics monitors the process of software development. As it monitors the software process itself, it can tell you at any moment uh, what about the software complexity, what about the risks, the technical debts that are implemented in the source code, for example. However, the key differentiator to software development tools known so far is that AI-based technology can come up with precise estimations, with precise predictions about the impact of what is going on in your software development. So with AI-based technology, we can come much closer to a real evaluation of your software system, of your software implementation, and we can find out to a much higher degree the real risks in your software. Of course, as a side effect, you can, for the first time, start to do benchmarking between different similar projects, for example. Furthermore, there are some applications um, that go far beyond the typical technical scope. AI-based technology, for example, can analyze the skill sets of your software development team. If, for example, in a case of emergency, if some major problem has occurred in your software system, in the operation of your software system, the management may ask who is the best one for fixing that bug, for helping in this urgent situation. AI-based techniques can analyze very precisely who of the development team will have the best skill set for fixing this special, special issue. Insofar, AI-based technology um, supports decision-making in the human resource arena of software development as well. There is actually a long discussion about the name software engineering. As the name suggests, it should be engineering. But in reality, software engineering has not the specific characteristics of engineering. So it's extremely difficult to deliver in a reliable, robust way software systems that fulfill the requirements. Interestingly, AI has not thought to be a key innovation strategy for software engineering itself. Um, just as a kind of side effect it is now applied to software engineering. And of course, as software engineering is a data-driven discipline, it can help to better understand the complex processes that take place during software development. The software engineering of the future will be a data-driven software engineering. AI will become a key component in that scenario. And it can become a key component as in software engineering we are talking about a data-rich discipline. For almost all processes in software development we already record and log data and this can be analyzed by AI. The future of software engineering will definitely include a more holistic approach in the sense of a digital boardroom that oversees, monitors, documents, all processes that take place during software evolution. Companies should start with creating awareness about AI for the software processes. This is maybe the key point that they realize that there is a possibility to improve the methodology used for software development. 
this is maybe the key point for starting with AI for their own software development. Next, I think important is to have a platform that collects, that analyzes, that visualizes software data. For example, a software analytics platform. HBI will have a study on AI for software engineering soon and companies are invited to participate here by providing access to one of their projects, the selected projects, and HBI together with the research partner Serene will provide insights that have been found applying AI technology. We estimate that we can provide insights about technical complexity, about technical risks, about team composition and about investments. That is about so, so the question how much money was spent for which feature. So these are just a few questions we would like to answer applying AI technology in the future. For companies, uh, the study offers a great opportunity to get in touch with AI-based technology for software engineering. Throughout the study, we will investigate new algorithms, new AI-based techniques analyzing software data. So companies will have direct access to the latest result of our research and companies can even compare their situation, their analysis results with the results from similar companies. So we will also have the possibility to share results and to reflect on the findings out of the AI-based technology. So it might be very interesting to see which aspects can be analyzed by AI in a specific company and what are the limitations as well as what are the key insights that can AI bring uh, to the light.